Hey guys, this is Jared. I'm going to be giving you guys some Modern Warfare 2 sniping tips. Now, um, and it's kind of more of a commentary because it's kind of bouncing back and forth between sniping tips and the talking about the channel Digital Respawn. Now, here's the thing. It's not... We didn't know about um, Machinima Respawn, but we don't take videos and from people who made them personally and just stick it up and say we made it which is I thought that was like stealing like the first time I thought Machinima came out it was awesome and everything but just like I think they're just like putting no effort into it making other people do it for them okay now I used the if feeling lucky class which is the intervention and thermal sight and FMJ for my sidearm it's model 1887 Kimbo FMJ and yes I do have bling on so <laughs> yeah that kinda works actually bling pro my bad okay now I put down claymores in the most random of spots because basically they work it's like a barrier or something now see that guy? I just saw him run by. I, p I was about to put away my models and everything. Now watch this. I shoot right over his head. Right over his head. Which is so gay. Now, I would I would suggest that you stay away from your teammates. Crazy as it may seem, they kick... They just, like, screw you over time after time. Like, watch this, watch this. This is a perfect example. He gets in my way. I can't even turn because of him. Another perf now see I was getting pissed off because like they're all getting in my way so I was trying to leave the game but then I was like you guys really need this what not to do thing now see they just like get in my way again I see on my a guy on my radar and then I see that he actually calls in a hair strike so I get out of the way and I think my teammate dies nope he does not okay I was kind of looking at the radar in the corner now see perfect example of what a sniper can do kicks ass now that would have took like two or another example see shoulder shot I couldn't have done that because the guy my teammate got my way see basically what you should do is you shouldn't really help your teammates out you're a lone wolf you're supposed to be a lone wolf you you travel alone so you can kick ass on your own okay if you stay with your teammates you're gonna die with them for instance, um, like a um, AC-130, what do you think it's going to do? It's going to go for you, a single person with a limited amount of time, and it's gonna, or it's going to go for the bigger group and get like a multi-kill. Yeah, he's going to leave you alone, trust me. Just for one and only reason, he wants to get more kills. So you're basically still killing his enemy, but... I mean, your enemy, but at the same time, you're not dying. Uh, here's a noobish example of what not to do. Turn your back. Make sure you you have your surrounding or anything, like, secure. Not really surrounding, just, you know, watch your back. Now, what I did there was I, I used a, um, I tried to use a bounce flash, which is basically I jumped and I threw it at the wall, so it would bounce off and like blind the team the enemy team which is pretty beastly if you actually if it actually really happens now there I completely miss just noobish and I have the thing of with Kimbo I forget to do one two three four like for the ranger and everything but I'm using the model so it does a little flippy thing so I forget to like do the one two thing and I just do the one like, you know, you pull left and right, which is kind of stupid, in my opinion. I gotta try and work that out in my brain right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, I worked it out. Okay. Now, uh, another thing is, the Chris and Jared show, which you probably, um, if you haven't already seen it, it's on our channel, episode one. It's just basically me and Chris doing sniping tips. Well... Chris getting his ass kicked and me telling him what the fuck did you do that for and another thing is like uh, weapons uh, 
use whatever you're comfortable with. Never use what the pros use. I have, like, okay, I, I might sound a little bit stupid right now because I have, like, a key examples, like, what to talk about. Maybe I should write a script. Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should. Maybe. You guys decide. I want you guys to decide. Cause I'm, I can't make decisions. It's just back and forth with myself. Okay. Okay. Another thing is stay hidden. Don't really show or like for instance if you like if you have a guy that's really close up on you and he doesn't see you yet he's gonna see you. Like right there that was just retarded. I, I thought the guy on the ground was like another dead guy but then I couldn't move for a second there and he basically shot me once with the intervention and got unlucky. In my opinion that was actually a break. That was a big break for me. And and another thing is, should I prestige guys? I'm on eight sixty se uh sixty eight right now, and I really don't want to prestige because like it's just a pain in the ass basically because you got to start right over. Now here's a perfect example why you should stay hidden. Now watch this. Okay, this guy is just beastly. It's just stupid of me. That was such a noob. He, he, well, actually, I'm calling myself a noob, because, like, I did everything wrong. I was supposed to keep my, I was supposed to, like, stay hidden and everything, and I did, but he, like, just saw me, and I got him back. So, that's basically what happened. Now, right here, you should always go prone. Now, yeah, uh, I guess that's the end of this. I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.